<laughs> oh, hey, LeGrand Alive. This is your weekly news-ish roundup, brought to you by Grand Ron Hospital, Northwest Furniture and Mattress, AnythingToDigital.com, and EO and I. Shoot. Shoot. Have you ever found a stray cat or dog? I have, plenty of times. And just recently, I found a little black cat named Whisper on the street and took her to the animal shelter. And through that experience, I got to learn some of the intricacies of what they do at the Blue Mountain Humane Society, what they're trying to accomplish, and how much they care about animals. My name is John Brindley, and I've been director here at the shelter for five years. I was volunteering in the summer of 2011. I met someone and, and so she loved animals and I liked animals and so we came down. I loved animals and so we came down and uh, uh, started volunteering. John Hinckley has been the director of the animal shelter for about five or six years. When he arrived, he turned the animal shelter into what's called a low-kill shelter. That means the amount of animals that, he, that are euthanized at the shelter has dropped from about four or five a day to only about 40 over the course of about four or five years. But the problem with doing this, he said, is that the shelter can't accept all the animals that they're given. There's just not enough resources. But he said there are a couple ways people can help from home. How they can help is uh, find out some needs we need. We need, um, you know, monetary things like um, uh, paper towels, bleach, um, indoor cat food. That helps keep the odor down. Um, things like that. Just find, you know, you can look on Facebook or our website and we have a list there and then money you know each household donate ten dollars a month you know i mean we'd have enough to really help out the community i would like to get a vet on staff to be able to help the community one other way john said that people could help in the fight against animal cruelty and homelessness is to not adopt pets unless you're absolutely sure that you can take care of them one of the biggest problems is people will get animals like they'll get a cat or a dog and they get it as a puppy it grows up and then they don't want it anymore. You know, it's like some people think they're, they're a throwaway item. You know, there's a lot of people that they, they get a pet and then they move out and they leave, the, they leave their animal. There's been people that left, a lot of cats, this happens to. Dogs, sometimes they leave them in the house once in a while, yeah. But uh, it's mainly cats and then that's why we got a problem around here with feral cats and stuff like that. So if you find a stray dog or cat, be sure to call ahead to the shelter before bringing them in. The office is located off Geckler in the Industrial Park. More information can be found on their website along with dog and cat listings for adoption. This title story was brought to you by EONI, Local Business Phone and Internet Service. Chautauqua was a cultural and social movement that started in the 1870s. Hundreds of what's called touring circuit Chautauquas presented lectures, dance, music, drama, and other forms of cultural enrichment. And that circus is coming to LeGrand. This weekend, July 22nd, the new Chautauqua Circus is visiting LeGrand. There will be a parade, workshops and juggling, tutu making, marimba, face painting, earth geography, magic, and more. Then, at 7 p.m. at the LaGrand High School, there will be a vaudeville extravaganza that includes such fantastic shows as the Flying Krasmanov Brothers, a magic show, a vortex show, and a band show. Tickets are 12 bucks for adults and 8 bucks for children under 12 and are available at the door beginning at 6.30 p.m. All other events will be downtown LaGrand during the day. Be sure to check it out. And now, here's your other upcoming events with Emily Adair from Go Magazine in Get Out and Go. Hi, I'm Emily Adair from Go Magazine. And I'm Will Bowman from The Grand Alive, and this is Get Out and Go. Go Magazine highlights the Vaudeville Show coming to LeGrand this weekend. A traveling nonprofit arts organization will present a number of family fun activities. First, the parade is open for anyone to join, either in costume or as themselves. Then there will be juggling, face painting, and puzzle and tutu making workshops in the afternoon. The day concludes with one big Vaudeville show that features live music, magic, and circus acts. Meanwhile, a LeGrand band called Stephen Kay and the Bounty Hunters is preparing for two local concerts. The first is a summer concert series at Riverside Park, and the second is three days of music during Chief Joseph Days. The group is also looking forward to some of their music being played on the radio and in upcoming movies. Looking toward Baker City, the Oregon Trail Interpretive Center has opened a new exhibit about John C. Fremont, who led an expedition through eastern and central Oregon. Go Magazine also describes the next courthouse concert series and the next Eagle Cap excursion train ride. For more information, grab a copy of this week's Go Magazine, which is a product of The Observer and Baker City Herald. 
We're also online at GoNortheastOregon.com, and you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For more local content, check out TheGrandAlive.tv. Thanks for tuning in to Get Out and Go. And that's your weekly news-ish roundup. This roundup is brought to you by Northwest Furniture and Mattress, Grand Ron Hospital, AnythingToDigital.com, and EO and I. Be sure to like and share this video and tune into TheGrandAlive.tv for more local content. I'm Will Bellman.